Good morning, everybody. It's Rachel at Queen Vacuum in Shrewsbury, and I wanted to take a moment while I have like a little bit of quiet time to shoot what I hope to be a relatively quick video to review something with you that's been driving me personally insane, <laughs> which means that it's probably driving you guys insane. So um, I have my trusty uh, Miele vacuums out here because this is what I want to talk about. Uh, especially since Miele expanded their product line back out, they added a whole bunch of new um, like more entry-level products, which are really, really, really super affordable. And they come in a couple different ways, but with all that new hype going on, I have noticed a huge amount of confusion over the different kinds. Basically, the differences between the, you know, in the line of the different body styles, the C3, Compact C1, Classic C1, there's different models that have different tool packages. What's changing are what I call the extremities, the things on the end that are touching the floor. So whether the machine is set up to do mostly bare floors or to do mostly carpeting or a mix thereof. Okay, so that's where it gets confusing. And if you look on our YouTube channel and on our website, you'll see some videos that I've done that are much more in depth that go over all that in great detail and show you like side by side how the different attachments perform. But I wanted to keep <laughs> this kind of quick for you, um, just so that when you come in to shop, you have a better idea of what is gonna be a better fit for your house, for your application, based on your flooring and rug and carpet types, so that you don't have to feel like, I gotta tell you what, what you need. You'll understand better what you need, and then you can come in, we can discuss it, go over the fine details, and you can try one and then take one home. So, here's the deal. The way that I explain this is that there's two basic kinds of canister vacuums. One, now mind you, all canisters do bare floors by default, okay, and they have, they're the ones that are dragging behind on the ground, they have a long hose and a wand system, and then something at the end <laughs> on the floor to do the bare floors or carpets, okay, and that's where the difference is. So, the basic kind of canister is what we would call a pure suction or a straight suction canister, meaning that it's just using suction in order to suck up stuff off the floor and wherever. The other kind is what we call a power team, power team canister. And what that means, think of it like two vacuums in one. You know how upright vacuums do carpets predominantly, okay? Because uh, they have what? A spinning brush roller. And that's what's going over the rug, agitating, agitating, in addition to suction to clean a carpet or a rug much more deeply and effectively than just suction, which is just kind of floating over the surface and just getting some surface stuff. Okay, so this agitation thing is a big, big deal. And that's where the difference happens. So a power team canister like uh, this C3 Kona here, it has obviously your canister, same stuff, right? Pretty much. But at the base, they give you an electric power nozzle. So it's a carpet cleaning tool, an attachment, that has a brush roller, an agitator for cleaning carpets, and that's powered by an electric motor of its own. The vacuum is producing the suction back here, back here. But on the end, this is a separate guy, and it has its own, <laughs> has its own motor in there whose only job is to spin this brush roller, okay? So it's an electric motor making that spin, and what does that require? Well, that means it needs to borrow some electricity from whoo, over here to make this work. So therefore, on power team canisters, this hose and this wand has electric wires built inside of it to deliver that power down here. That's a big deal. This cleaner head is almost like a whole second vacuum, okay? Think of it like an upright vacuum, but pew, pop down into like a pint size size. So that's its job. It's sole job in life is to agitate carpets, okay? So, but that's how it works. So therefore, it's also very strong, very consistent, very aggressive, very deep cleaning. And it is the, the best and most correct way to deep clean carpets and rugs, okay? Same thing, just one's nailed down, one's not. Most of these will also have an adjustment pedal to physically change the clearance, the the, the distance of the brush roller from the, uh, from the carpet so that you can do different piles or different lengths of carpet fiber 
effectively yet safely because you don't want to be like pulling at it. Okay, so that's an electric power nozzle. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, but because this is its own separate thing, this pad on its own is a little pricey, but it also requires these more advanced um, parts to make it all work, which are a little bit more expensive. So that's why power team canisters are more expensive than the straight suction ones. So just if you look at the C3 complete line of Mila canisters, you'll see there's a whole bunch of them, a whole spectrum of them. There's a few in the bottom end that are pure suction, okay? Then on the other end, the majority of them actually are power team canisters set up to do carpets as well as bare floors and other dusting. This is where it gets confusing. There are models in between that are called turbo. So for instance, in C3, you'll see the Kalima is a turbo model. You'll see models in the, in the low end, like the compact C1 turbo team or the C1 Classic Turbo Team. Those are also designed to, to do carpets, but they are a turbo system as opposed to an electric system. What that means is that they are packaged with a tool like this, okay? This is another example of an electric power nozzle. It's a small electro comfort. But see how they look kind of the same? It's kind of the same, sort of, flip them around. See how they're, they both have a spinning brush roller? That brush roller, again, is designed to agitate carpet, but this is the big difference. This is it, this is the whole kernel, okay? It is a matter of how that brush roller is made to spin, either with an electric motor or with a turbine, an air-driven turbine. If you could like open this up and see, there's a little fan inside. Think of it kind of like a, like a water wheel, okay? You know how like water flows over a water wheel and it makes it spin, okay? Well, instead of water, there is air flowing. The suction of the vacuum cleaner is, is flowing over and through that fan and making that fan spin. And then that energy is transferred by a belt to the spinning brush roller. So in this case, it's an electric motor making spinny spinny. Again, connected by a belt to make that spin. This is driven by air. So what's the difference? That's the difference on how they work, right? That's what makes the motion of the brush roller spin. So this only takes suction. So the wand and hose, this is all connected to, does not need an uh, does not need electrical wires in it. So therefore, it's a less expensive system. This is less expensive than an electric power nozzle and the whole system is less expensive. And that's why you'll see these turbo models are usually at least a couple hundred bucks less than a power team canister. Well, so then the next question is, well, if they're both designed for carpets, what's the difference? Why would I buy something for $6.99 when I can get it for $3.99 or $4.99? Um, great question. But the question I would pose to you is, how much do you enjoy leftovers? And I'm not talking Thanksgiving. I'm talking about leftovers in your carpet. And again, I have a whole video dedicated to seeing these side by side and actually physically seeing the performance. But the, the, the kernel of this is that there is a major, major difference in the actual performance, the end result um, in cleaning between these two types of products. An electric power nozzle is much more aggressive, strong, consistent. Think of like the washing machine, which agitates better, going like this, or like, okay, which gets a clothes cleaner. Electric power nozzle is more consistent, thorough, faster, stronger, more consistent. Also adds a good amount of vibration to the rug, which actually helps uh, stuff that's embedded kind of mm, agitate and come up to the surface where the suction can take it away. A turbo does spin, but only on very low pile, short pile, smooth rugs. Because it's a weaker driving system, when the carpet pile gets too long, shaggy, there's a lot of resistance, this will bleh, slow down, keep slowing down and eventually stop and not turn at all anymore, okay? It's um, affected a lot by just the suction of the vacuum cleaner. You turn it up or down and it'll speed up or slow down. Just, just the airflow changes as you're going from different kinds of rugs. You'll hear it, feel it, see it um, slowing down and losing performance. So long story short, turbo, no turbo nozzles are 
remarkable for what they are. They work incredibly well for considering like how they work, okay? Um, so on a, on a low pile, basic smooth rug, you are gonna get so much better of a pickup and deeper clean than if you just used um, a smooth gliding rug tool and just surface clean. It's a big difference in performance there, but there is a massive difference between the performance of a turbo to an electric power nozzle. And that's the main thing, that's what you're paying for, guys. The question you need to ask yourself is, do you really want your carpets clean or not? How much leftovers are you willing to leave in the carpet for the sake of saving 200 bucks right up front, as opposed to the damage that's incurred in your rugs by not cleaning them well? With, uh, with the stuff and the allergens and the yuck still being deep down and embedded in the rug, also the carpet pile never being fully agitated and lifted back up so that getting rid of the matting and, and gnarling that happens over time. So an electric power nozzle is the way to preserve, not only just to clean, but to preserve the life, the look, the feel of your carpeting, wall to wall or area rugs. Again, it's the same stuff. Pause. The only difference or as a caveat is that if, 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 if you happen to have rugs that are so delicate, okay, they're like silk or they're hand woven or I don't know, they're just weird. And usually the manufacturer of the rug or whoever sold it to you would say to you, oh, this rug is very delicate. It can only withstand pure suction um, cleaning. No agitation whatsoever. None, 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 none. There are other rugs that are a little stronger and can withstand gentle agitation. Gentle agitation via a turbo. So it's like getting a, a, a shirt, you flip the tag in the back and it says, oop, dry clean only. Okay, there's a limitation because the fiber is delicate in some way, it can't withstand the normal cleaning processes. So that's the same principle for rugs. Your, um, your seller or the manufacturer of the rug, again, should be able to instruct you on the best way to clean that rug. But 90% of carpets and rugs out there need to be deep cleaned with an electric power nozzle system, okay? So that's the difference. I hope that makes sense. Uh, I, I'll try to put a link in the description box for one of the other tutorials that I have that physically show me using this Kona with all three different attachments on with like sand and dog hair stuff and sprinkly dirt stuff. So you can see the performance on different rugs on bare floor. You can watch a lot of another time. But this is just the, the essence of this issue. So when you come in, you want to see your overview of the Mila's. We're going to talk about straight suction or pure suction, turbo, power team. You need to be able to come in um, and tell us what your what's in your house, <laughs> what kind of bare floors, what kind of rugs do you have to clean now or maybe be getting in the future because that's going to determine the type of tool that is matched up or correct to clean that type of rug or surface and that determines which model is the right is the right one for you okay so yes Mila has like a lot of models and it's very overwhelming when you don't know what you're looking at but there's those three categories straight suction turbo power team and I got a customer coming in, so I gotta go. <laughs> but I hope this is helpful. Guys, remember to uh, uh, stay tuned on our Facebook, on our YouTube channel, and on our website, queenvacuum.com, for all the best news and events. And okay, that's it, I gotta go. Bye!